All right, Jeff. Uh, the uh, we got uh, a bunch of people in here. Nineteen people in all together, uh, so including you and me. So you may proceed. Good afternoon, everybody. I'd like to thank you first of all for taking the time to uh, spend a little few minutes with me today. For those of you who are not familiar with Probind, we are a manufacturer of thermal binding equipment, uh, hard and soft cover binds that go with that equipment. We are also a provider of document packaging products, anything from two-piece cover sets for use with wire, coil, comb, velobind, tape binding systems, uh, any of the tabletop systems. We also do uh, binders, tabs, folders, document holders, pretty much anything that holds paper. Some of you may be familiar with our products. Some of you may not, so this is going to be a, a relatively quick overview of all of the products that we provide. We are based in Kansas City, Olathe, Kansas. We have about 100,000 square feet of manufacturing facility and about 100 employees. Um, the, the main company has been in business since 1977, and I personally have been in the binding business since the early 80s. So I got about 30 years under my belt uh, selling desktop binding, laminating, and, and products such as that. Um, that's a little picture of the building that you see right there. Internally, we manufacture our own thermal binding equipment. I'll get into what that is in a little bit. We do our own thermal binding supplies. Customization, we offer offset and digital printing, silk screening, oil stamping, embossing, debossing, lamination, sewn products. Uh, we do sonic welding uh, for making boxes and such, present presentation boxes. Die cutting, case making, folding. We do binding, fulfillment, stitching, sealing, and riveting. All of this is done in-house. We don't send out for anything. Um, Equipment-wise, we actually make Equipment-wise, we actually manufacture about four pieces of equipment. The Probine 1000, Probine 2000, a hardcover crimper, and we offer a stapler and stapler table as well. Equipment-wise, our Probine 1000 is the smallest unit. It's a small tabletop unit that has the capability of binding both hard and soft cover books. It will do binds up to 5 eighths of an inch, which is approximately 125 sheets of a 20 pound bond copy type paper. It's really good for business to business, proposals, presentations, real estate offices. There's a lot of applications for this little machine. It retails for $149, so it's very inexpensive. Uh, a lot of customers could use it because it doesn't cost much to buy the equipment. The machine itself weighs approximately two pounds. The Probine 2000 is our bigger unit. It has the capability of binding about an inch and three quarter, which is about 350 sheets of paper. It's uh, all metal construction, simple one, but one button operation for either hard or soft cover books. You can do binds all the way up to an A4 size bind, so letter, legal, all the way up to computer or A4 size. Again, the, the purpose of these tabletop units is for putting reports, proposals, presentations together. Um, both the 1000 and the 2000 do the exact same process of binding. These are heat units. For those of you who aren't familiar with thermal binding, thermal binding covers have an adhesive strip that's pre-applied into the spine of the book. The machines themselves simply melt the adhesive that's in the spine of the, the uh, book, melts the pages that were set into the cover, and when it cools, you have a perfect bound book. Both units have the capability of doing hard and soft cover. On a 1000, the bind cycle is 60 seconds for soft, two minutes for a hard. On the Probine 2000, 30 seconds for a soft cover. 60 seconds for a hardcover. Okay. The third piece of equipment is a hardcover crimper. Um, hardcover books are uh, the easiest way to, to put an analogy to it. It's like a yearbook in school. It's a hardcover turned edge book 
the adhesive still applied into the spine, the pages into the book, heated in the 1000 or the Probine 2000, and at the end of the bind cycle, you set it into the hardcover crimper. What the crimper does is it creates the hinge, the opening hinge on the book. It puts a hinge on the inside, on the outside front, and on the outside back. Um, I'll get into a little bit later some of the markets for these products, but schools are very good marketplaces, not only for yearbooks, but for putting theses, self-publishing projects. Uh, that Probine 2000 sells in the schools along with a glue strip, and it's really good in libraries for rebinding ripped or torn library books. After the uh, book has been rebound, you can put it into the crimper, and again, it reforms that opening hinge on the book. You only need a hardcover crimper if you're going to be doing hardcover books. If you're not doing hardcover books, it's not necessary to do a soft cover bind. Thermal soft covers, as I mentioned before, is a one-piece cover with an adhesive strip pre-applied into the spine. The Probine itself offers a variety of paper materials that covers can be made out of. And all of these paper materials typically are customized. They have a company's logo. Uh, it could be printed, foil stamped, embossed. Uh, it could have pockets into these covers. Um, any way that your client would like to decorate or formulate a cover for their application, we are a manufacturer of that product for you. Uh, I'll say it many times during the presentation. We sell to the trade or to, to dealers like you only. We are not selling direct. So any account that you bring to us will stay under your name, and it ships under your name. So any account that uh, comes in under ABC comp company gets shipped out under ABC company. Covers themselves can have a clear front, a frost front. They can have windows. They can be made any way that you'd like. Thermal hard covers, again, can be decorated. Typically, they're either digitally printed or offset printed to look like these yearbooks shown. They can also be foil stamps. We do a lot in the uh, uh, photo book industry, and then those covers would have a window. Covers themselves are typically 11 by 8.5. I can make them also 8.5 by 11. We also have pricing, uh, standard pricing for 8 by 8 and 12 by 12 books, and that's more for the photo book industry. Okay. Two-piece cover sets is what I think most of you are familiar with. Anybody who is selling any type of tabletop binding system, it doesn't matter who the manufacturer is. It could be Achilles, Renz, PDI, Tamerica. It doesn't matter. All of these machines could utilize a front and back cover set. Front and back cover sets can be made out of paper. They can be made out of poly. They can be printed, foil stamped, silk screened. They can come pre-punched. They can have pockets. They can be made any way that your client would like. We can also make two-piece cover sets out of vinyl, a heat-sealed vinyl, or so a padded cover set that way. We can do a hardcover, turned edge hardcover, two-piece cover set. I would recommend that if you're going to be doing something like that for your client that you get them pre-punched by us for whatever punch pattern they're going to be using so that they don't ruin their own die. We get into binders. There's basically five or six types of binders in the marketplace. There's turned edge binders, vinyl binders, poly binders, paper binders. Everybody knows what a stock insertable binder is. It has the clear front where you can put your own printed sheet on the front spine or back. And the last type of binder is a sewn binder. We recently got a uh, over a company, and we're now producing our own sewn binders in-house as well. The turned edge binder is a printed litho sheet that is black, black or cardboard. They can have what they call a euro spine, which is that one binder shown with a round spine. They could have a square spine. Uh, but typically, these binders are printed, laminated, wrapped over a board. They can have any type of ring that you your client would like, meaning a, a D ring or a round ring in any of the sizes. Um, typically, they're laminated, although we can do them that are foil stamped. We can also make them out of material, if you would like them out of a, uh, a custom wrap material. Um, again, 
one to four color process printing is typical, oil stamping, silk screen, or having padding put under the wrap are all options if your client would like that. Poly binders are a plastic. Um, anywhere from, uh, well, we've made them down to 16 gauge, but typically 23 gauge all the way up to a 75 gauge is your typical poly binders. Um, poly binders are very durable. They're waterproof. Depending upon the client and their application, um, there are certain binders that are better for certain applications. Again, we're here to help. If you ever need help, advice, samples, all of that is free of charge. And uh, again, we offer all the same decoration capabilities, including digital printing on poly now up to four color, uh, all done in-house. Vinyl binders, vinyl binders, I'm sure we're all familiar with vinyl binders. They're heat sealed on the outside edge. Um, typically, they're silk screened. They can come anywhere from uh, uh, you know, a one color silk screen to a four color process with us. They can come with the clear overlays. We do have a full variety of stock binders in black and white, in O-ring and D-ring, or whatever your client would like. Pockets would be included into those on the front and back. Um, the digitally printed four color vinyl is a, an area that's been increasing with us. We see a lot of customers liking to go digital four color now as opposed to a simple one or two color silk screen, which has been in the past. People are upgrading the look, upgrading the image. If someone is looking for something that's a little bit more economical, paper binders is where they want to go. It's an 18 point coated one side uh, sheet that we print and simply pop a rivet in or pop, a, uh, uh, pop the uh, rivets into a, a ring and you have a, uh, a kind of a throwaway short-term presentation three-ring binder. It's very good. We, we sell a lot of these when companies have company or corporate meetings. Uh, they're used to hold the corporate uh, the meeting material for that day, and they're really not meant to last long-term. Very inexpensive. You can get some, some paper binders printed in the cost of $1.50 to $2 a piece. So they're very economical for someone who wants to put a half-inch, inch of material together. I don't necessarily recommend them when you get up to the two and three inch as far as capacity. It's just, it's holding too much paper in a paper binder, but it is available. Windows can be put into these. Pockets can be put into these. Um, again, they can be made uh, any size that your client would like. Typically, people who are buying uh, binders will also buy tabs. There are basically two types of tabs, paper and poly. The poly is made out of the same material that the poly binders are made out of, and those are typically silk screened. They're extremely durable. They don't rip. They don't pull out. Uh, they're a little bit more costly than a paper tab, but the paper tabs are uh, available in 90 pound or 110 pound in white or buff as standard for us. Tabs themselves can be printed on the tab, on the body of the tab. We can put mylar on the tab. They can be cut into any tab width that a client would like. They can be reinforced along the binding edge. They can be drilled, three-hole drilled, or pre-punched for any of the tabletop binding systems that a client may have and want to put uh, uh, have the tabs pre-punched for them so that they don't have to punch them themselves. Um, part of what we offer at Provine is we have a lot of, of, of uh, selling tools to help you sell the products. Uh, what you see here is just something called the anatomy of an index tab. We have a sheet that says it's the anatomy of a three ring binder. And it basically just gives you the questions to ask a client when getting your a quote, your initial quote. If you're not familiar with selling binders or tabs or anything that's custom, if a customer has anything that has been pre-produced by someone else, you walk into an account and there's a binder on the shelf, simply take your phone, take a picture of the outside of the binder, the inside of the binder, measure the ring size, and get a quantity. That's all we need to quote for the most part. 
If it's something really complex, we may have to see a binder, but it's really not necessary for 99% of the jobs that we're producing. Simply a picture of the inside of the binder, the outside of the binder, the quantity that needs to be produced, and the ring size. And we can take it from there. When I get a little farther on into this presentation, a lot of these materials are available on Probine's website. There's a dealer section that only dealers can get into. And all of these little sell sheets and these, these little um, these little helpful sales tools are there and they're downloadable for free. If you're ever calling on a certain client that you would like samples sent to you ahead of time, simply let us know for your CSR. Her name is Debbie McQueen. Her contact information will be at the end of this presentation. But if you call her and let her know that you need a vinyl three ring binder to show a customer, all those samples will send to you at no cost. We also are a manufacturer of pocket folders. Uh, there's a lot of applications still for pocket folders. And again, pocket folders can be made pretty much two ways, out of paper or out of poly. We do have a sonic welder, so we are able to sonic weld pockets into poly folders. Schools are a very, very good market for that. Um, we call them Friday folders. It's the little folders that the kids use to take their homework home. Um, if they get them in paper, they tend to last about a month, month and a half. If they're made out of poly, they tend to last the entire semester. So uh, although they cost a little more to be made out of poly, they do have the durability uh, and they last the students much longer. Uh, so schools are a very, very good uh, market for that. Paper pocket folders, a big market that we're seeing a big increase right now are in uh, nursing homes. Uh, every nursing home hands out it, it, hundreds, if not thousands, of pocket folders a year. Uh, so I'll talk about a little bit more about applications later on in this presentation. But that's a very good market to call on. We have the capability also of doing uh, fulfillment. We do digital print as well as offset print. One of the best ways to increase your revenue on these, uh, these binding projects, if you're selling somebody a binder, you're selling somebody tabs, the very next thing you should be asking your client is, who's doing the copying of the content? A lot of uh, dealers who bring us the binders and bring us the tabs, we see that we're sending these to local print shops who are doing the fulfillment of the project, which means that you as a distributor are missing out on all that revenue. You can quote the entire product project through us, and the customer gets the binder, the tabs collated in the right place, and the content sheets would be shrink-wrapped, set inside the binder, and then shipped to them. All they have to do once they receive it is simply set it onto the ring. Um, by doing that, you save shipping, you save, there, there's a lot because you're not going to multiple vendors. So any of your, your binding jobs or three ring binders and tab jobs, always ask who is doing the content. Uh, if they are open to you quoting it, all we need is a, uh, a PDF file. We can see what it is, if it's color, black and white, we know how many pages it is. We can see if it's one or two sided text printing and we would be able to give you a quote for that as well. We do document holders, certificate holders. Again, schools are very good. Any school that, uh, that just has a diploma. Police, fire stations do a lot of certificate holders. We just got a real nice $5,000 or 5,000 piece uh, uh, order from the VA, uh, from one of the VA uh, administration offices that they are giving to uh, wounded warriors, uh, little paper certificate holders. We do uh, portfolios. Uh, a lot of law firms will still use portfolios with their logo and name on it. They can come with pads of paper uh, into it. And we can also even do custom pads that has the firm name on the top of of each sheet. So again, we're kind of a custom shop. Anything that your clients want with their name, logo, uh, address, anything like that, we'd like to be the supplier to you for that. Calendars, uh, I guess by trade we're an offset printer and we do a tremendous amount of calendar work. Calendars are still pretty big. 
um, depending upon the industry you're going after. Um, we do some work with uh, title companies. One of the products that I'm going to be showing you here shortly is some vinyl portfolio covers that they put closing papers into. The title companies use calendars as giveaways at the end of the year or beginning of the year, I should say. For those of you who are thinking of uh, marketing these type of products, you really need to start marketing them sometime in the October, September, October area because it does take about 30 days to get the calendars out. We do anything from small desk calendars, wall calendars, the uh, saddle stitch calendars, or wire coil bound calendars. A lot of uh, customers are actually putting uh, monthly specials. They can have coupons on there. They're, they're using them almost as a ad specialty type, type calendar. So again, calendars are something that most, most of our dealers don't think about selling, but there's good margin in calendars. We do presentation packaging. I mentioned before we do some uh, sonic welding. So that means that we can sonic weld boxes out of poly. We can do turned edge boxes, uh, meaning uh, like a hardcover book or a turned edge binder. We can actually take and, and wrap a board and then form it with different closures. It can be a Velcro closure. It can be one of the string tie closures. We can put handles on it. Um, real estate, we've done a lot with real estate. That little blue box that you're looking at there is a new office packet. Uh, it was given to, um, it's a big big office building that when they got new tenants, they gave them one of those uh, boxes and it had all the rules, regulations, had everything to do with their office, the build out. It was kind of as a presentation box for them. A lot of them use them as training kits for uh, employee benefit information, things like that. We can also make these boxes out of uh, uh, paper. So similar to a Dunkin' Donuts box, if, if someone wants to use a little ad specialty type product where they do a Kleenex or an ad specialty box, we have the dies to be able to custom print and die cut those type of boxes, and we would be able to provide those for you. I mentioned a few minutes ago about the title companies. These vinyl portalopes are what are being used by title companies for putting closing documents in. They could be made out of vinyl, like this shown here, or paper. Um, insurance policies or policy jackets are, are being used. Every insurance company, uh, some of the big ones that we're dealing with, will order anywhere from 20 to 30,000 of these policy jackets at a time. We've sold them into auto dealerships that have the auto dealer name on it, and they put the, the paper, the car work paper, into these little vinyl document jackets. Um, we even go into banks and do custom checkbook holders. Again, all of these are, these are either printed or silk screened with the bank logo on it, and then they would have the uh, pockets heat sealed in there that you'd be able to put your checkbooks into. Again, if you need samples of any of these, please contact uh, Deb and she'd be happy to send you some samples. We do these emergency uh, procedure manuals. These are used in schools hospitals, and most municipalities. It, uh, I think it's uh, a federal, in a federal building, you have to have some form of an emergency procedure manual in all their locations. We can do them out of paper, like the one on the right-hand side that's wire-bound, simply hangs on the wall. We've made them out of vinyl. We've made them out of poly. The uh, one in the center has a, a series of clear vinyl pouches. We can do all of the printing for the cards that go inside of it. And then these are put into classrooms. They're put into, uh, uh, they're at the front desk of every uh, hospital on every floor. Uh, if you get into a big chain, uh, multiple hospitals, multiple locations, these orders can be quite, uh, quite extensive. These sell for anywhere from, it depends on volume, anywhere from about $8 to $20 a piece and typical orders are anywhere from 500 to 2,500 at a time. So there's some good money if you get into the right, uh, right location with these. Uh, again, poly, paper, or vinyl. Quickly, you're gonna go through a, a little bit about who uses our presentation products. Who do you call on? Uh, for those of you who are interested, we just updated our marketing guide and if you're interested in, in having me email one out, please contact me after this, uh, 
this little demonstration. Um, basically what we've done is we've put industries together that have used our products. It gives you the person to call on and it gives you what the application or what the typical application in that industry would be. It's about two and a half pages of, of, of just different industries. It would say uh, accountants call on the office manager or the managing partner and they would use this product for financial statements, audit reports, and client proposals. So we will help guide you as best we can to who to call on and what the application is for the product that you're calling on them for. Um, I have, I'll go through a little of that right now, uh, but I have this available to those who, who want it later. Just simply email me and I'll send it out to you. Healthcare, I mentioned before, uh, you do th anything like assistant, li assistant living, rehab, urgent care centers, they're all handing out pocket folders of their information. Um, they use thermal covers, we've sold poly folders to them, we've done the emergency manuals, uh, uh, as, I, as I mentioned to you. Um, the, again, the application, medical records, patient information kits, uh, admittance packages, those are just some of the uses for these products. And I'm going to go through a few of these industries relatively quickly only because it's all in that other sheet that I'll send to you. Schools are very good. I mentioned before we do yearbooks, self-publishing. We can do class schedules. We do emergency manuals. We do the pocket folders. We sell our glue strips and the Probine 2000s into libraries for rebinding ripped or torn library books. Many teachers put together their own workbooks or schedule books together in the classroom. Um, we do have a product uh, that uh, it's a create a cover that the students themselves could actually self-publish their own hardcover books in the classroom. So uh, schools are very good. I think most of you are calling on schools already with your lamination and, and laminating film. This is just another product that you can go into schools with, and it just adds income and, and gives you a little bit more credibility when you're going into these schools. Financial markets are always big with us. Accounting still being a, a very good market for us. It has declined a little over the years, uh, but we still do a lot for financial statements, uh, tax returns. Uh, we make a tax cover that's in our catalog that you can see. Banks use uh, check imaging binders, tabs. We do the checkbook covers. Uh, any train, any bank that's large enough to have a training facility or that will do quarterly um, financial statements to clients is, uh, is a, uh, a customer. Investment firms, such as even Morgan Stanley, these big, these big guys, BlackRock, they're all using our thermal binding systems. Insurance, very, very big market. If you can get the uh, policies, the policy or contract assembly area in an insurance firm is the largest volume area. Um, we still get orders for 20 to 50,000 uh, covers at a time coming out of insurance companies. Um, we're, we do a lot with ING or Boya right now. They probably do anywhere from five to 10,000 covers a month uh, for their financial statements. Oop, I think I went one too far. One I want to talk to you here. Real estate is, is pretty big with us. Um, typically, you want to talk to the broker, not necessarily the agent. Uh, CMAs are, uh, are, are a big application. The uh, commercial properties, luxury home properties. A lot of uh, brokers are also, for high-end properties, are using three-ring binders. Um, the CMA stands for comparative market analysis and what that is it just shows where this particular property is being sold at compared to the properties that were allowed it. So in open houses they use our utility they hand these things out and a prospective home buyer can see how that home ranks compared to some of the other uh, homes in the area. So in area title companies definitely want to call on them for those portal it's a good market for it and inspection services. Anybody who does inspection services, the whole purpose of that is to create a report. 
how they package that report is up to that individual uh, inspection service. Some are doing it email. They just send an email. Some of them are putting them into binders or, or utility type binders and sending it out to the client. Again, real estate's a good market to be in. Pardon me, going the wrong way here. Consultants, advertising agencies, these are good for uh, uh, the, kind of the custom edge boxes, the uh, custom packaging of, uh, of binders. Those are, uh, those are where you want to get into with these ad agencies. Also, uh, quick printers. If you're not calling on quick printers, you probably should. Quick printers do not manufacture these types of products. They go out for manufacturing these types of products. If they know that you're a local source that they could get binders and such through, they will call you when those uh, opportunities arise. Hotels, hotels are big. You don't want to call necessarily on the hotel itself. What you want to call on, or you want to call on who's the managing company behind the hotels. Typically, if you walk into any hotel, right behind the check-in counter, it'll say this property is managed by XYZ company. XYZ company typically manages anywhere from 10 to 50 hotels. That's who you want to call on because when they do room directories or a little room binder, they're not ordering for just one hotel, they're ordering for 50 hotels. So if each hotel has 100 rooms, you're getting orders for 5,000 uh, products at a time, not one. Manufacturers are still good for binders. Uh, they do price catalogs, they do product catalogs. Uh, we do a lot of tabs. We do a lot of report proposal covers for them for their pricing guides. So uh, if there are manufacturers in your area that manufacture a product of some type, uh, I would call on them. Because typically they are still using catalogs and they're typically still using binders. Photo market, it's, uh, that's becoming kind of a saturated uh, uh, market. If you've ever gone to uh, Walgreens and bought a photo book, the little black photo book, we're one of the suppliers of photo books to Walgreens. It's that type of product that I'm talking about that these photographers would use. Um, as a side note, a lot of them also still use laminating. You may want to call on uh, the photo industry for uh, laminators as well. Um, ideally, if you want to look for a lab, that is the, uh, the larger volumes as opposed to these small photo guys that are working out of their house. Associations are very good. They do a lot, of, lot with membership uh, uh, lists. They do uh, a lot of time new member uh, training manuals, educational information. Uh, we do some saddle stitch products for quite a few associations. They do typically, just like our association, they have a, uh, a, a, an annual meeting. And just like the Bindrite Association, they get a pocket folder. Uh, it's the same application that Bindrite's using it for. You want to use it and call on them for the same applications. The equipment that you're looking at right there, uh, this is part of the plant. That is a six color Komori press. It's one of our printing presses that we use. This does a lot of our offset work. Um, it, it, it can do aqueous coating at the end. Um, that is one of our silk screening equipment. We actually have three silk screening lines and, and they're typically running all at the same time. They're, not only do they silk screen, but they UV dry at the same at the end of the conveyor there. So once it's silk screened, it's ready to be sealed uh, within minutes after being silk screened. We do digital uh, we do digital printing. That was an older unit. We're now running Konica Minolta's as far as our digital print engines, and we also have a large flatbed. We can do flatbed printing of signs up to four by eight foot. So ultimately, we can do a piece of plywood if someone wants us to print on it. We would be able to do that. Turned edge, that's a picture of a crater. That's what we use to, to wrap hardcover books. It's actually one of the machines that we use to wrap hardcover books. It actually picks up the skin, runs it through a glue pot, drops it onto a board, uh, turns the edges of the board, puts it through a sealer, and it comes out the other end. And then you can do whatever we need to have done to it. We can make a binder. We can make a box. I can take it over to the thermal line and add a liner sheet with the glue and make it a thermal cover. That's just the machine that wraps 
the printed sheet around cardboard. That gives you an idea of what 60 people look like standing in front of that one press. It's a, it's a pretty big machine. Um, sometimes just looking at the machine, you don't get an idea of the scope of how big it is until you actually see that many people standing in front of it. So that would be 60 people in front of that one machine. At Probine, we offer some quality products. We have very, very good dealer support. Uh, most of our staff has been, at least in the art department and the management, has been in the custom business for probably 30 plus years. All of the products that we sell offer repeat orders. They're consumable. Once someone binds a document, they need another cover, binder, tab to rebind the second document. So there's a lot of repeat business in what we sell. All accounts are proprietary, meaning that if you bring ProBind in an account, we try to the best of our ability to not resell that account to any other dealer. That way you're assured that you get large margins. Uh, typically, the uh, margins in our, uh, on the supply end of things run about 45%. On the equipment side of things, 55 to 65%, depending upon how many machines you're purchasing. Debbie McQueen is your new customer service rep. She can be reached at 913-747-2125. You see her email there on the screen as well. Uh, she's taken over for Emily. Emily is still with the company. She's just in a different role. So if there's any questions or if you've run anything through Emily in the past, she's still there to uh, uh, that Deb can run ideas off of or, or check on what was done last time. Um, we will match or beat any competitive pricing as long as we're quoting apples to apples. We have trade show support materials that are free of charge, meaning that if you're going to be doing a trade show and you're going to be highlighting ProBine as one of the machines you're demoing there, I will give you all of the demo supplies, collated literature to bind at that trade show for free. All samples are free. I think most of you are aware of our catalog. Catalogs can be customized. It's a seven, an 18 page catalog. It will have your name and phone number and website put onto the back. The catalogs are 35 cents a piece. 200 catalogs are only $70. So regardless of what system a client of yours may be using, I would hand them one of the ProBind catalogs to see if they need a custom cover to go along with that. For some of your smaller accounts, we released recently digital two-piece cover set pricing. Customers can order customized covers in quantity as low as 50 cover sets. And they're only like $1.50 a piece. So for $35, the customer, or for $75, the customer can get 50 cover sets with their name, logo, up to four color, digitally printed cover sets for 75 bucks. So it's really good to get some of the smaller clients who are not using custom in the custom all you need to do is send us a PDF of their logo. We do marketing support as far as uh, sell sheets for all of the different uh, products that we have. If uh, any of you go to our website, there's a dealer login section that you can get into. And any of the artwork for any of our products are available that you could populate your own website with. You could use it to do proposals, presentations with. Um, we offer on-site training by myself. If uh, you have a large enough crew and, and you want me to come out and make calls with them, I'm available to do that. We're here to grow your business in any way that we can. Um, I know that there's a lot of little product here that I went over relatively quickly because of the time that we have, but I, I just wanted to make you all aware of what what's available and, and, and what we can do for you. Um, at this point, if anybody has any questions, I'd be happy to field that. Um, if not, I want to thank you for your time and thank you for participating in this this meeting. Now, this is Al. If anyone has, uh, you know, wants any information uh, and doesn't have uh, Jeff's uh, contact information, just send me an email telling me what you want uh, and uh, provide that information to you through Jeff. Uh, I will also, as I say, I've recorded this session, so if you want to play it uh, as a refresher, you can do it. 
you want to pass it on to other people in your organization, uh, you feel free to do that as well. Are there any questions? Any comments? All right, well, thanks very much for participating, and uh, we'll uh, see some of you at the next uh, webinar, whenever that is. So, thank you. Be good. Have a good uh, thanks. Fourth of July. Have a great, uh, great weekend, everybody. And we'll see you, uh, see you all soon. Bye for now.